Now, what is cardiogenic pulmonary edema? In cardiogenic pulmonary edema, you've opened the tap. The water is flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It gets to a point in time that the sponge can no longer hold the water. And because of that, the fluid spills into the sink. Why? So that means that the pressure is too much. That is how you, I want you to think about it. The water flowed, 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 flowed. And so the sink just gets flooded. But with a non cardiogenic pulmonary edema, the sponge is torn. And so it is leaking. And because of that, any little amount of fluid you put through, it seeks into the, the sink. Doctors, please, does this make sense? I want to know. Does this make sense? Think about the sponge. So the sponge is the lung. For cardiogenic pulmonary edema, you open the tap and because of that, the sponge got flooded and then it spilled into the sink. But for non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema, there were holes in the sponge. And so the little amount of fluid which came in, boom, it spilled. So one is as a result, the sp so in both cases, there's spillage of fluid, but one of them is as a result of excessive pressure. The other one is as a result of peeping fluid through the pores of the alveoli and that is why one comes with elevated wedge pressure and the other one comes with non-elevated wedge pressure